In this step, we're going to shuffle the cards. To do that, we need to add some new variables. Flash automatically adds the import statements, so don't worry about those except for our import cards, which we did in our last step. You're initially going to need to create some new variables. We have a private variable, my cards, which is an array for the array of movie clips. We've got a private variable of card placement, and this is initially telling us which frame will show right side up from our movie clip. If we take a quick look at our movie clip, you'll see that we have nine frames for the card. Frame one is the back of the card, and then we have eight other frames. We have our private function create cards which we created last time and in the public function card class we're going to now call a new function assign values. This is where we're going to shuffle the cards. So we're going to write our new private function. It'll shuffle the cards. It's using a for loop for the number i equals 0, i less than 8, i plus plus and it's going to rearrange all of the cards. Let's show you how that works. I'm going to leave the code up so we can walk through it. Initially, placement equals 0, temp equals 1, and i equals 0, because that's what we've initialized everything to. So our first time trip through the loop, i is equal to 0, placement's going to equal a random number, I'll just say that that equals 5. So we'll say that 5 is the random number that was generated temp equals card placement i. Well, what's currently in card placement i is 1, so we'll assign that to temp. Card placement i equals card placement placement, which means that we'll take whatever was here, which is 5. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to take 5, and that's going to be equal to card placement i, so that will equal 5, and then card placement placement, which will equal temp, which is 1. So these cards will switch place. When we go through this a second time, i is now equal to 1, that's our index, and we'll see that this time the random number is 7. So when we go through it this time, we'll have card placement i equal to temp, well that's spot 7 here, and so temp will equal 'Card placement i'. So right now that is 2. Card placement i will equal card placement placement. So this will become 7, and this will become Two, and we'll proceed through the deck shuffling it that way. So that's how we rearrange it. Once we've gone through it, every card should have moved and they should be in a random order. We check that by doing a for statement to step through the loop and tracing the card placement. Again, we can save everything, file, save all, command enter, and you'll see here in our output that the cards are, sh are sorted, 5, 7, 8, 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, nothing duplicates. So that allows us to shuffle them. Get that step done, and then we'll have these change to be clickable face up to the assigned number.